I'm sorry y'all like I've been slacking on videos but um you saw the title for the video so I don't want to like waste time doing a super long introduction but what's up y'all my name is Mayday I'm an artist gamer yada 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 if you want the full explanation go to the other videos that I have but I had to play Help Wanted VR 2 and I bought it on PlayStation only to realize that I have to have the second version of the PlayStation whatever headset which I don't have so it's very disappointing and I found out you could play it on Steam and I happen to have an Oculus so the Oculus that I have right is gonna be important information okay the Oculus that I have is the Oculus Quest 2 okay I'm playing the FNAF VR on PC okay I recently built a PC this video is designed to help you play FNAF on Quest because when I tell you I struggled so much to be able just to play it, to stream it, to record it, all of that, it wasn't even funny. And every video I found did not help like at all. So I had to like stitch together like bits and pieces of the gameplay. So without further ado, we're gonna get into that. If you found this video at least a little bit helpful for you, do me a big favor and go ahead and like subscribe you know if you like it and yeah let's just get into it all right since you've downloaded everything go ahead and connect your oculus to your pc using the cable cord do not use airplay it's just going to give you bad quality especially if you're streaming okay once you finish this we're going to go over to steam and left click on the on the game you should see properties go ahead and click on that when you see properties, you're going to want to go to launch options and input this into the box that you see below. If you cannot see it, don't worry. It's going to pop up on the screen in just a second. And this is going to make make it so that the game actually loads in VR the way that it's supposed to. Shout out to the Redditor that was able to find this out. If you are streaming, you're going to want to follow this next step. If not, go ahead and skip over to the controls. Okay. After you've downloaded SideQuest, it should be green. You should be able to click on the TV icon for you to be able to have a little window that'll pop up to show what you're doing in Oculus, okay? If it's not green, we're going to get to it in a second, so calm down, okay? But if it is green, you're going to go ahead and go down to see all the options. They have options for Quest 1 and 2, so make sure you have the right crop setting, okay? And that's pretty much it if it's not it's going to show you a step-by-step -step guide of how to make that little icon green you cannot stream anything until that is green okay so follow all the instructions it's really simple okay and you should be able to do that okay note that if you have a foreign cord that's not oculus approved your connection may not be as good but that's okay okay once you finish that and you make sure all your settings, you're going to want to make sure you have some sort of broadcasting network. I use OBS, so that's the one we're using. And we're going to go ahead and start the stream. You'll see a little box and you're going to gonna click on a uh, quest link. It's just a riff or whatever your pre-C is and it'll take you to your virtual desktop. Wait there, okay? Other streaming options are oculus.com slash casting. It didn't really work out as well for me. It was very buggy, very glitchy, but it's the same thing. Um, I just find that sign quests worked a lot smoother. Okay, now audio will be at the end of this video. So if you want to skip to the audio portion, if that's what you're struggling with, go ahead and skip down. You're going to see the controls in a second. I messed up using the controls for the left joystick and I was able to go back and correct it. So that's what we're doing in the video. So here's the controls. For controllers? Yeah, go to control. Controller bindings. VR settings? Oh. Yeah. Show control. Yeah. Bind bindings. What is it? Oh, wait. Manage control bindings? Yeah. Okay. Okay, select custom. Okay. Okay, hang on. Oh my. We just gotta do so much guys. <laughs> okay. Alright. Under current bindings. Edit edit this binding? Yes. Okay. For Vanaf VR help one. Oh my f Alright. Trigger. Trigger. Okay, ready? Okay. Trigger. Button. Trigger. Yeah, trigger. Because it's a trigger. 
Is just trigger? Yeah, for that one, it's trigger. Okay, hold on, because I'm at so this one. You might gotta change it on the other side. Too. I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this one has pool. Oh. Then yeah, that's what we need to do. Okay. So or maybe click. not all of them are buttons. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay, we're gonna figure this out. We're engineers okay. in this bitch. What, what, what do I do for this one? All right. Right trigger C click. Right trigger. Right trigger click. Right trigger click. Mm hmm. Okay. Touch. Okay, for touch. Right trigger touch. Right trigger touch. Okay, for pull. Yeah. Right trigger A axis. I'm sorry, axis, yes. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. It's, it's like split up, yeah, so I can't see it, I okay? Know. It's okay. All right, joystick. Okay. Joystick. All right, try D-pad or joystick. Try joystick. Okay. It should have, but yes, okay, that's what we need. Okay, that's what we need to do. So we need, so whatever we're doing, we need to do on the opposite okay. side. Got you, got you. All right, cool. All right, ready? So okay. click. click. Yeah. Okay. Right thumbstick click. Right thumbstick click. Okay. For a touch. Right thumbstick touch. Right, right thumbstick touch. You're G for this, cause I'd be so confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally I'm just looking for the. All right, right thumbstick click. It just says right thumbstick. Yeah, right thumbstick. Sorry. Okay. Okay. And for grip. Okay, ready. Use this trigger. Trigger. Mhm. Mm Add this one also has a pull. Awesome. Okay. Click. Right trigger click. Right trigger click. All right, for touch, it's gonna be right trigger touch. Right trigger touch. For pull. For pull, it's gonna be right grip access. Right grip access. Okay. A button. Yes. Button. Button. Okay. Click. All right. Right A click. Right A click. Okay, and right, right A, A touch. touch. Yeah. Okay, B button. B button. Right B click. Right B click. And then right B touch. All right, leave the skeleton alone. Okay, now let's go back to the other side and fix okay. what we what messed we, up. What do we need? Okay, so okay, so go back up to the top. Hold and on, hold instead on, of button, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's this one? Awesome. Yeah, we gotta delete all that. Okay, system. So system. Okay. Okay, so system isn't. Okay, so system is different. Let me see. This is just system. Yeah. This is yeah. triggered. Yeah. Okay, so what system? System. Click. Left. System click. Left system click and a left system touch. No, no, no. There's no touch. There's no touch on that one. Yeah, just none, none. Okay. None. Okay. Okay. Trigger. We need to do trigger, trigger. Which also. This one get. Um. Uh. Hold on. Okay. Delete the whole thing. Let's start okay. over. Yeah. Wait. Uh, okay. Trigger. Trigger. Delete this. There we go. There it is. Oh, this is the one. Okay. So. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. Left trigger click. Left trigger click. Okay. Left. Left trigger touch. Left thumbstick touch. This is left thumbstick touch. Yes, left thumbstick touch. So, so wouldn't it be? Wait, why is this trigger and this thumbstick? Hmm. Why those are two separate things? Over here, it's trigger. You mean? So why is this thumbstick? It was supposed to be thumbstick. This is supposed to be thumbstick for the joystick. Or no, no, no for trigger. Tr trigger for the sorry, right sorry, side. Sorry, sorry. Trigger for the right side. Left trigger touch. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Left trigger touch. Left trigger touch. Left trigger touch. Okay. okay. Pull. Then left trigger axis. Left trigger axis. Okay. okay. Now we go to joystick. Okay. Okay. I'm done here. Start over. Okay. Joystick. Okay. What's the click? The click is left thumbstick click. I'm recording the whole thing. We're, we're going to be good. Thumbstick click. Yep. Okay. Left thumbstick touch. 
Left thumbstick touch. And then where are the position? Left thumbstick. Left thumbstick. Okay. To be sure, you scared me. Don't do that. I was, I was blinking for a second. Is all right, that, it's fine. Is that all of them? Uh, for the grip, do you have pull on the grip? Yep, you gotta delete the grip. Let's start all over. <laughs> For grip, the trigger. Okay. okay, ready? Yeah. Left trigger click. Left trigger click. Okay. Okay. For touch, left trigger touch. Left trigger touch. Okay. And then for pull, left grip access. Left grip access. Okay, that should be it. All right. Now what do I do? Okay. Save position. Yes. Okay. Save it. Say personal binding. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, now return to the game and it should work. Oh my oh. God. Okay, let's see. So when you do this, all you're gonna wanna do when you launch the game, I don't have the headset up, but I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Okay. I don't have headsets, so obviously none of like the headset is gonna be working. But here's what's gonna happen. Okay, the game's gonna load up. Okay, you should already be in the Oculus Quest at this point. Okay, and then I hit Control Alt Delete and start Task Manager to kind of get out the full screen because I don't know. That's just the way I do it. Start Task Manager. Okay, you're gonna want to make sure that this is gonna be up when you're doing your streaming your VR that you minimize this. And make sure everything that you can possibly minimize is minimized. So that when you click on the game, you hear the audio. I'm going to turn it down so it's not a big feedback. Because it should be coming through both the desktop audio along with the speakers. And that's how you're able to hear. And for the microphone, I just set up a microphone through OBS. So that's how I was able to do that. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. So that's how you can get sound audio. I hope you found that video to be helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. If you did find any other hacks that you were able to find, then go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below. And hopefully, eventually, they'll be able to find a way to do this automatically so you don't have to do it yourself. But until that day, now you know how to do it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all later. That's it. That's the video.